opportunity for me to finally fight a top 10 rated fighter according to Ring Magazine. You guys know that I've been wanting to fight the best in the world for a very long time and this is the first guy that I got that was rated in the top 10, man. So I'm just happy and I look forward to getting uh, past Saturday night and looking forward to the rest of my career, man. It's, it seems like Guerrero, he acknowledges that you're stronger than, than him, you have more power, but he believes he has a better chin. Would you say your chin is just as good as his or what? Uh, most definitely, man. You know, um, I've been in there with punchers, uh, punchers that hit harder than Guerrero. Um, we'll find out Saturday night if uh, that statement holds up, man. But just like on the flip side, his chin is held up with a lot of punchers. But can he take this punch or this punch? We'll find out very soon. And your keys to victory? Keys to victory is what they always are, man. Box smart, fight your fight. Establish the power early on. See how they handle it. Hit them to the, hit them high, hit them low, and uh, just keep brawling for 12 rounds. Keith, on your last fight, I didn't have trouble against the lefty. We outclassed him. He was a switcher. He was a lefty, righty, lefty, righty, which means he's changing up the angle that I need to attack him throughout the whole fight. You know, because with a southpaw, everybody knows the formula is to keep your left foot on the left side, on the outside of a southpaw so that you can line up the right hand. But when he switched back, then I have to go back to a normal format, then the southpaw format and a normal format. So it was just a, it was, it was the switcheroo mentality that he had that was awkward. It wasn't frustrating and it wasn't difficult because we handled him for 12 rounds easily. It was like a sparring session. You know what I'm saying? I just got paid at the end of it. So.